some coyote dropping time. As you can see, it's fall now. No snow or anything yet. Lots of frosts already. And we're just driving down these little back roads. And go around that fallen tree. And you can see just our next little opening here. Beaver slew all along beside me here, but the house is right here coming up. There you go. See that beaver house. And you can see it's just farmland, bush, water. That's the kind of country I live in. Real, real neat terrain. Rolling hills. Somebody from mountains, yes, this is flat, but for Saskatchewan, it's rolling hills. And, uh, yeah, it's just kind of... We're going to go along and go and check one bait. Just give you a little update. As of right now, I'm just starting to check today. Today is day six, and this is only my second bait that I'm going to. And I've got 52 coyotes in five days, so I'm averaging 10 coyotes a day, give or take. And I have not got everything set out yet. But anyway, I'll just go through this one. Now the bait coming up that we're going to go to, I've had, oh, I'm just trying to think now. I've caught probably four coyotes already off of this bait. So the initial big shot of coyotes is over. But, uh, you know, there may or may not be a coyote there today. See, I just drive into the fields here. Uh, all you beaver trappers out there, I'll make you jealous. Get to the top of this hill here and show you some stuff. Okay. See that little feed pile down there in the water? Beaver house there. Beaver's in this one. You'll go by that one, you'll see a big beaver house in that one. And right here, you can actually see the house. Sorry for being shaky, but there's the house. Okay, so that's the first four you can see on this hilltop. And there's actually eight beaver colonies just in this quarter section alone. And the quarter section is 160 acres, a half a mile by a half a mile. There you can see the feed pile and the beavers in there. And then in those bushes back there, there's more beavers. There's beavers in that one. This is the other one I showed you, the beavers around the corner. Way in the back there, there's a whole bunch more beavers. So, it's not hard to put big numbers of beaver catches up in my country. There's a pile of them. Anyway, let's continue on. And like I said, you can just see it's just open farmland, bluffs. That's what I trap on. So let's get up to the bait. I don't see no ravens today. It means all my bait is gone, so hopefully we have a coyote or two in the snare for that. But we'll see. What I do is I pull up to where I drop my bait. Oh, and the bait's still here. See the bones? And then I just hop out and go for a walk. So what I do is, you can see the bush line, and all I do is I just walk over, I don't know, 30, 25, 30 yards or so, give or take. And you can see some red flagging in the trees here already. This is my sets. I'm not expecting a lot of coyotes here, maybe we're lucky to get a single, but we'll see what happens. So, there's a the snare. Here's number two, and this one, I have to crawl under a fallen tree on this one. Snare number three. Oh, ugly walking in this one. This is snare number four here. I know I've caught three coyotes on this one already. Just give you an idea. This has caught three coyotes on this trail. You can see, you know, 
the little sticks are still there. The grass is just padded down a bit. But no catch circles, nothing. So, and I know for a fact I caught three on that one. Okay, next one is right here. I think we've got a blank here today. Five, right there. Yeah, doesn't look good today. And here's snare number six. So you can see, no catch today. But that just gives you an idea. Just do it over and over and over. And I've got 18 baits set now. You just keep doing it over and over all day long. Okay. This uh, landowner here is uh, a good friend of mine since I was a kid. His uh, son and mom, myself are best friends and he's got some amazing, amazing coyote country out here. I've known about this since I was a kid and always wanted to trap out here and a couple years ago I finally got out here and it was better than I even expected so uh, this is the first of three baits on his property and uh, just amazing spots here so we'll take a quick peek in here and see what we got. Alright, let's go take a look. Spot number one. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Let's just go for a little walk. Instead of watching me reset snares. Spot number two. Oops, just about tripped there. Ding, ding, ding. We have another winner. Spot number three is empty. Number four is slightly pulled. No, nope, it's empty too. That's the way I said it. Let's see if we can get a triple here today. Spot number five is empty. And I apologize for being so shaky and I'm half crouched over and everything. Coyotes don't live on Main Street on the pavement still. So. Alright, we're like just seeing that flag was it. Okay. The hell did I just see it? Oh, right behind me. And spot number six has been pulled. Get that thing out of the way. All right, so we got a double here. Thank you, Sid. And let's go to see his other two. Okay, here we are at second field. Now this one is a special area. It's in a it's basically there's a creek running through here. It's pasture, all kinds of bush. And his house is just straight in the other side of those trees there, uh, a mile away almost. And this is the area as a kid always 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 hear howling and see coyotes and everything always made me whet my appetite to learn how to trap coyotes. So Anyway, so this spot has eight snares because it's just that darn good. So, let's see what we got here. Last check yesterday, pulled a triple out of here. First spot, nothing. Second spot, nothing. Damn tree 
please keep slapping me in the face. Just gotta go over here across the fence. trees here. So third spot. Got one here. Not the nicest looking coyote. My wire there. Let's go for a walk. Fourth spot. Been pulled. Five's got nothing. Ding, ding, ding. I think we have a winner. No, we don't. Shit. Looking at something else. Number six, nothing. It's cold. See if I knew how to set a snare, I'd probably have a few more coyotes by now. his last spot here um, just to give you guys kind of a reference to this two years ago I put up that video of that big catch 49 coyote and six fox in one day one check anyway that was this same area the same trap line that I'm running right now is where all that came from uh, spot number one nothing and uh, so yeah just to give you an idea I had a whole bunch of comments of Oh, you know, you're raping, you're pillaging, your area's going to be dead of coyotes and stuff like that. Off of Sid's land here, only two spots, not three. I had uh, 21 coyotes 10 days, two years ago. And we have a problem here. Why is he alive? I think I just caught him. There's no struggle or anything. I bet you I just caught this guy as I was driving up. It's actually a neat thing. I know it's not pretty, but you see, he should be freaking out losing it. I just pulled up here, and you can see it just trying to stay awake, and that's how the rams kill. So, I'll just give this guy a minute, and so that's number two. And that happens quite a bit where I drive up. There's a coyote, I just chase him off, and he gets caught. Number three empty. Number four. What do we got here? Looks like we have. Something got out of that one. Could have been a deer or something. Got by the leg, maybe, possibly. Five empty, and this spot has seven snares. Uh, next spot's empty. Looks like we got a single here today, unless something comes in his last snare. Single today. I just caught him. So, yeah, this one's kind of moved over a little. There. Yeah, that happens quite often where you just drive up. There's a coyote eating on the bait. 
obviously sees the truck and says, I'm out of here. Runs like hell and goes twang right into a snare. And so you can see, sheep hides again. They just shred these things. And that's what the bait is right now. So I'll go get this guy to the snare and continue on.